Chairman of the ITU PP18, His Excellency Mr. Majid Sultan Al-Mesa, Al Secretary General of the ITU, my good friend Haolin Zhao, elected officials of the ITU, honorable ministers, your excellencies, heads of delegations, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the government and the people of the Republic of Kenya, I wish to commend the ITU on its decades of work in the development and coordination of global ICT networks and services. And for the tremendous benefits we are witnessing today through that work. We're happy to be part of the 20th Penitentiary Conference of the ITU in this beautiful city of Dubai. On behalf of my delegation, allow me to express our profound gratitude to the government and the people of the United Arab Emirates for the warm hospitality we continue to receive since our arrival. We note with great appreciation the detailed level of attention in the organization of this conference and the smooth facilitation. I also take this opportunity to congratulate you, Mr. Chairman, on your election as the chair of this conference and the able stewardship you have demonstrated so far. The unique opportunity that the ITU Penitentiary Conference provides for member states and industry experts, irrespective of the levels of ICT development, enables the fusion of ideas and best practices. Through this, we can articulate a global vision for the development of ICTs over the ensuing years of this decade. Today, Kenya as one of the developing countries whose economy is increasingly dependent on strong ICT foundations, we delight in this opportunity to determine the progression of the Connect 2020 agenda, which is mirrored in many ways with the ITU's Big Five agenda. With the enthusiasm in the uptake of ICTs in our country's social economic development, the government has rededicated its efforts towards scaling up ICT infrastructure, development, and universal access. Our country therefore affirms her commitment to the development of ICTs in line with the ITU member states' common vision of an empowered society interconnected by telecommunications and ICTs. The government of Kenya acknowledges the crucial role of ICT and therefore categorizes it as an enabler and driver of our economy as articulated in our economic blueprint, the Vision 2030, and indeed the current administration's Big Four agenda as well. Our country's Big Four agenda specific specifically focuses on enhancing manufacturing, food security and nutrition, universal health coverage, and affordable housing. In our Big Four agenda, ICTs are recognized as the common denominator that brings Vision 2030 and the Big Four together. The ever-increasing products and services from the ICTs, such as emerging mobile commerce transactions, growth in mobile money services, and increasing innovation products, innovative products in the country, are providing us with key indications of the uptake of ICTs in Kenya. We are equally positioning ourselves to leverage on the emerging technologies and services such as cloud computing, artificial intelligence, distributed ledgers such as blockchain, and many others, notwithstanding the risks and challenges to leapfrog in our sustainable social economic development. At the core is the collaborative spirit between government and the private sector. In furtherance of innovation, strategy, we are keen to build the capacity of our young people and harness their potential in the promotion of telecommunications and ICT applications. Through our Presidential Digital Talent Program, we have invested in training young people and creating an environment for higher absorption rate into the job market. On the other hand, we have initiated programs such as the Ajira Digital Program, to train and also sensitize youth on the need to take advantage of online work and digitally enabled jobs. 
in less than six years, our citizens are now able to access over 80 government services at one-stop uh, shops following the implementation of an e-citizen portal complete, complemented with a chain of public access points commonly known as Huduma Centers. We are currently digitizing our land registry to increase efficiency in processing land records as well as automation of government services. In an effort to improve on our inclusivity goals, our country has embarked on the policy and legal frameworks that will continually support further development of existing innovations on mobile money services, including seamless interoperability for ease of access by consumers. Through the Universal Service Fund strategies, the country is making efforts to close less than 6% of the population that are not currently covered by basic communication services. In our pursuit to achieve inclusivity, our country has also embarked on the roll out of broadband to schools and improvement on fiber optic footprint. All our three mobile operators are now rolling out 4G footprints under targets given by the industry regulator. Our goal is to not only increase internet and broadband penetration, but also continuously empower the community of SMEs to increasingly participate in the digital economy as they are a repository of Kenya's innovation potential. May I take this opportunity on behalf of our country to thank the ITU and those member states that have partnered with us in the development and mapping of our ICT innovation ecosystem. I want to assure you that we have embarked on our progressive establishment of initiatives that are expected to support local young entrepreneurs, startups and innovators who carry the great digital economy promise for Kenya. Convinced that broadband connectivity and a thriving environment for new technologies and services are what we need, I urge our deliberations at this conference to, lose, to not lose sight of the need for the world's citizens, communities and governments in partnership with private sector to pull efforts to help realize the socio-economic benefits of ICT. As we build on past successes and achievements along the paths to beyond the Connect 2020 agenda, let us all remain united in purpose to create an integrated ICT industry that can drive economies close digital gaps at a faster rate and ultimately create an ICT atmosphere that supports the sustainable development goals. Let me take this opportunity to wish this conference successful deliberations. Thank you very much.